Hollers and Hills of West Virginia, it's Heavenly Hills Homestead with another episode. Stay tuned. Here and check on our giant green squash that are absolutely running wild. <laughs> These jokers are going nuts. And I love it. I love the way they're looking. 1620 tile right here. 1000.5 brown right here. Looking great, guys. I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with these rascals. I need to get that brown running a little bit better, though. He's going the wrong way, son. You're going the wrong way. You're going to have to pull you over this way, son. All right, there we go. Come here, buddy. Come here. Hang on, baby. All right, there we go. Now we'll start burying nodes and stuff here tomorrow. Um, This one here I got to fix as well. I'm not going to do it right now, though, but I will get to it. That 1,000.5 brown's looking really thick. This one here, he's kind of thin. Kind of thin, don't like that. You gotta get thicker, son, you gotta get thicker. All right, hopefully all that nitrogen I've put in the ground will start feeding them good. So, we got uh, got some work to do. Uh-oh, I don't wanna follow. This way. Turn around. Come on. Cooperate. Goodness. All right. So, um, we got to uh, do some work back here on the hog uh, cooker. Whatever you want to call it. The roaster. The grill. The I don't know. You gotta finish working on it, get it ready, and get Chili Mac put on so we can eat. So we're gonna work on that. And then while he's cooking and everything, we'll be out here working out here doing stuff. So trying to take a look at everything real quick. All the plants are looking good. 1347 uh, Rotoball. I'm gonna have to water these and then the shade's really hitting him hard i guess i'm about to put the shade cloth back down here on these so i'll get or not the shade cloth but the uh the table i'll put the table back on them um i'll hang the shade cloth and stuff today as well while we're out here um, doing stuff so, yeah, a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of work to do today uh so we'll, we'll get it all done here got that bayou running the right way uh, right there, going that way, gotta get him toward that pole down there, and then they got the uh, Tiger King running the right way as well, and then we got the towel right here, and he's just not looking real good, I don't know what his main deal is, but he's gonna have to 
perk up there and get on the ball. That's all I know. He's not looking real good. He's, he's, I would have expected him to take off and go, but he's not, so. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe, maybe. maybe it's just taking a little bit longer than usual. I don't know. But, uh, anyhow, um, I get in there and till up that stuff too, but we gotta get the shade cloth on him today, so. Let me get this, uh, man, if this thing don't start acting right today, we're gonna have some major issues with it. He's a, I don't know if something's on or what, but I have to figure it out. It's getting a little aggravating. You know, I have to get on this roaster right here real quick, get it fixed up and finished up. Dad gave me a piece of, uh, angle to put in there for, to, for the center to hold it up. Um, yeah, because it would definitely flex when I put that meat on there. So, all right, guys, let's get that done. Job cutting the wood. Yeah, I got it. Yep, you cut the wood, didn't you? Yep. Let's show everybody what we done. Come on. Yeah, it's his arms. All right, let's go. Let's go show them. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so what we've done is we blocked it all up. I should have put it on time lapse, and I didn't. I just thought it'd probably be. Use useless footage, I'm trying to cut out useless footage. But anyways, you know what it, it's built like. You know, it's made out of center blocks. You've seen me put in the install the metal piece in the center. I was going to use two, but it worked out with just one. All right, so what I've done here is, like I told you last night, or the other night before last, I was going to use these right here. And then all I did was stack the boards in there. All right. And these two crates full of, uh, full of, uh, whatever, it's not slate, uh, shell will hold those two bottom boards on. And then this board right here is made to set down these right here. I don't have it screwed there. I, I did at first and I thought that's a bad idea. So what I did is I just left them to where they can fit down inside of the uh, inside of this uh, crate with uh, shell in it on both sides you can see it better there and that'll be the stabilization uh, and then they're screwed to this top board here and so they just slide in there and sit and then that board will be there got a little bit of gap there so you know a little bit of heat can get out but not a lot got all these boards stacked up here to contain the majority of the heat in there okay we do have a gap here and another gap on the other side just like this one okay so there's a little bit of air get out there the rest of it's completely sealed off at the top and back here so there's two holes right there just kind of sets it off now is it airtight absolutely not not one it don't need it to be airtight not looking for a smoker just looking for uh, a way to contain the most heat that we can all right and this is how we're going to retain the most heat uh, as possible as much heat as possible um, so we got the air back here for the for the charcoal in the wood it can uh, come out that back side right there and then on the front um, it's gapped down here on the, on the, along the bottom of the board it's gapped down there and if I need more air I can control that by taking a shovel and digging out more air right and or sliding these boards to one side so I can take these boards here push them down a little bit and create a gap 
you know what I mean, down here. And I can do it with both or just the one board. That's another reason why I left them un undone. So I can pull the bottom board only and allow airflow that way, or I can pull both boards and allow more airflow. So it's just, just a, it's, it's homemade. It's not perfect, but it's, it's functional and it works. And uh, we're gonna prove that it works here in just a minute when we cook his pig. So let's get in here. I'm gonna prep the pig. We're gonna bring him out here and put him on the, put him on the burn pit or whatever you want to call this thing, grill pit. All right, guys, so this is the new watering hose. Oops, water nozzle we bought. And I'm telling you right now, I just started using it. Should have used it a couple weeks ago when we bought it. <laughs> and I haven't used it, I kept forgetting about it when I was out here. I was actually done watered quite a few things, and I said, hang on a minute. We've got a new, uh, we got a new thing to water with. See if I can lock on that thing. Oh yeah, I can lock it. Anyways, um, started using it just now, and it's really nice, super super nice. Love it. Lets out just the right amount of water, uh, so that the, because the reason why we don't use some of them on here is because. Um, the the pump puts out so much water that it um uh, and there's no regulator you can't put a regulator on it i, mean, I guess you could but be afraid of uh, burning the pump up it's supposed to pump x amount you know per minute well, anyways um uh we uh we i didn't want to use a regulator and the other nozzles were blowing so quickly i mean like they it would just blow them up and leak around the leak right there and everything you see right now there's no leaks right there everything's good to go and it's working great i love the way it's watering i mean it's this is on shower i ain't tried none of the rest of them yet but this is this is the perfect like perfect flow and this right here's full blast okay you shut it off this way shuts it off all right we don't want to do that we don't want to turn nothing off but um i mean it works great i mean it, it, it's working wonderful it's got the right flow I really like it. It's expert gardening, or gardener. Expert gardener is what it's called. Adjustable flow control. I think it's a fire hydrant or something like that. Seven heavy duty pattern nozzle. It's working great though. I love it. I really, really like it. So, hey, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, it's nothing special, but it, it's it's heavy duty. It's very. It's, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's. Heavy duty construction. I don't remember what she paid, seven or eight bucks for it, something like that. I don't know that is. Anyways. Um, so yeah, it, it works good. There we go. They're going gimbal one to give me a, some troubles there. there we go. Sort it out. Works good. It's got some good distance too. You can see there. It's, it's pretty good distance from where I'm standing. Let's see. Quite quite a ways away. I'm over there. So I'm just doing really good. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you this. On to the next. All right, y'all. Got her lit. Let's see what she does. Let's see what she does. Looking good thus far. We're cranking. Hmm? So look at the flame on that. Hmm? So I know. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. Fresh smell pork. Hmm. Alright, let's get to it. Alright guys, so I <clears throat> flipped him just now and I checked him. And uh, his temperature's good. He's almost done. And uh, it's worked out pretty nice. I just now shut the uh, shut the air hole over here on this side down. Still going to be able to draw air out that way. I'm going to cover him back up and get him done. But, yeah, I mean, this is about two and a half hours in. He's looking good. We do have some, you can see some smoking on the blocks there and stuff. Where we got a little bit of sweat back here on them blocks. And these, uh, these boards are getting a little, little uh, smoke on them. But... I mean, he's he's doing great. I thought we was gonna have to get more charcoal, but I bought it and then we I was gonna put it in there. But I think he's so close to being done. I'm just gonna leave it alone. I don't want to 
get him too hot. Plus those blocks and stuff will hold good heat for a while. So I'm gonna quit jabbing, cover him back up, and then go check the chickens. All right, so got the chicken. They're looking pretty good. Uh, I should have brought my thing up here. I think I'll go get it real quick and uh, test uh, test the temperature in it, and then uh, see how close we are to being done. Okay, guys, so we appreciate you watching, and we'll see you tomorrow right here in the hollers and hills of West Virginia. Go out and see about finding you some shooting stars or meteor showers. Later, y'all. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to share. Thank you, good sir. You're welcome. Subscribe.